Maulaya salli wa sallim daiman Abadan Maulaya salli wa sallim daiman Abadan ala habibika khayri khulqi kulli الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله من مسبكتبل برذرز and viewers of Madani channel, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, I invite you to a new program. First, let's listen to the virtues and the blessings in sending durood upon the greatest of mankind, the peace of our hearts and minds, the most generous and kind, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. It said that the greatest of messengers, the greatest of prophets, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that he himself says that adorn your gatherings by sending salawat sending durood upon me as your recitation of durood shall be noor for you on the day of judgment. My dear Islamic brothers I wish you to just take a moment and to consider this that on the day of judgment when there shall be no light when there shall be total darkness then in order to attain some sort of light, this durood which we send upon the Prophet ﷺ, this shall be our nur, this shall be our light on the day of judgment. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, the program which I bring to you today evolves around the greatest of mankind wasallam. For this reason, this is special, this is beautiful. Why? Because it is about the life the biography of the greatest of mankind sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. But Islamic brothers, it is no doubt extremely important, it is imperative in our days, in our lives, that we study or we listen to and even try to implement what we can learn from the life of the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Now today I am going to concentrate on the specialities or the special characteristics of the greatest of mankind sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam because before beginning the journey of the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is important that we come to understand a little about who the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was now no doubt it is not possible for us to truly understand the essence of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam but in order to gain an understanding or a better understanding, let's listen to some things known as the Khusais al Kubra, which are the great and special characteristics of the Prophet. Now, firstly, to begin, who are we speaking about? We are speaking about the last and final Prophet who has been granted this name Muhammad. Which are some special characteristics of his? First, we can begin by the name itself. That just by being granted this name Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam, this itself is a great blessing bestowed only upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam. Because this name hadn't been granted especially to anybody before the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam. So what is so great about this name? Let's listen. It is stated that this name itself is taken from the word Hamd, meaning we have Meem, Ha, Meem, Dal. There are four letters, but the root letters are the letters Ha, Meem, and Dal. Similarly, the Prophet ﷺ, in other books, in the previous books, the Prophet ﷺ, was addressed or given the name of Ahmad. This 
word Ahmad or this name Ahmad too has the same root letters of Ha, Mim and Dal. So Ha, Mim and Dal, this makes the word Hamd. Hamd we all say during our prayer each and every day, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Meaning all praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the Lord of all the worlds. So this word Hamd, from this word the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam had been granted his name Muhammad or similarly the name of Ahmad. If we were to consider the names of the rest of the Prophets, why we are talking about the special characteristics of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, those things which were granted to the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam which had not been given to any individual or any prophet prior to the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam. So this word hamd, it denotes upon a perfect characteristic, an inherent perfect characteristic within an object. Meaning it denotes upon the beauty of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam himself. If we are to look at the names of other prophets, let's start with the father of the whole of mankind. Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. Adam means the color of beet. Now subhanallah, it means the color of brown, which again is subhanallah is beautiful. Brown is a beautiful color. If we are to look at another name, the name Ibrahim. Ibrahim means the father of many groups. Now even if you were to just look at the name itself, although each and every prophet has a great station in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet, there's nothing special about the name Ibrahim itself. Let's take a look at another name, Ismail. Let's look at the name Ishaq. Let's look at the name Yaqub. Yaqub means the one who comes after. Let's look at the name Yusuf. Yusuf means to be given an extra attribute, such as the Yusuf Islam was given beauty, and he was given that extra beauty. If you are to look at the name Musa, Musa means the one extracted out of water. As Musa alayhi salam, when by his beloved mother, he was placed into the river and then he was extracted from the river, meaning from the water. So for this name, he was given the name Musa. Isa means the color between red and white. As Isa alayhi salam was of a pale, you could say a whitish color. Yet, the name Isa itself, again, it only denotes upon a color. But when it comes to the greatest of mankind, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has given him the name Muhammad. And the Arabic language, it defines the name Muhammad and it tells us that Muhammadun alladhi yuhmadu hamdan ba'da hamdin marratan ba'da marratin karratan ba'da karratin bila infisal that Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam, he is that individual who has been praised time after time, moment after moment, seconds after seconds, meaning in each and every moment of the day, 24 hours of the day, 365 days of the whole year, throughout the whole of history, and up until the day of judgment, the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam shall always be remembered. So just the name itself, subhanAllah, it is a beautiful name. In fact, it has been mentioned that this name itself, Muhammad, has been taken from the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Mahmud. Again, Mahmud has three root letters, which are Ha, Mim, and Dal. So one of the great characteristics the Prophet ﷺ was granted is the name itself. Now let's come to learn how the Prophet ﷺ was named this. It's mentioned in a narration, Ibn Asakir radiallahu ta'ala anhu mentions in his great book from many different chains of narration. One by Abdul Muttalib radiallahu ta'ala anhu himself. For those who do not know who Abdul Muttalib anhu was, this was the grandfather of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, meaning the father's father. The father of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was Hazrat Abdullah radiallahu taala anhu, and Hazrat Abdullah's father, 
was Abdul Muttalib radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ibn Asakir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates in his great book from Suhaili and Abu Rabi'a. They state that Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam, saw in his dream, قَدْ رَعَى فِي الْمَنَامِ He saw in his dream, كَأَنَّ سِلْسِلَةٍ مِنْ فِدَّةٍ خَرَجَتْ مِنْ ذَهْرِهِ He had seen that it was as if in his dream a chain had been taken out and extracted from his back. وَلَهَا تَرْفٌ فِي السَّمَاءِ وَتَرْفٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ Now this chain, it had one side of it was through the air and the other on the earth, on the earth itself. وَتَرْفٌ فِي الْمَشْرِقِ وَتَرْفٌ فِي الْمَغْرِبِ There was one side of it in the east and one side of it in the west. ثُمَّ عَادَتْ كَأَنَّهَا شَجَرَةٌ And then it had been reassembled as if it was a tree. So it took the form of a tree. SubhanAllah, some branches wavering out. عَلَى كُلِّ وَرَقَةٍ مِنْهَا نُورٌ And this tree, it had leaves. And he said that upon every leaf there was nur, meaning there was light. Allahu Akbar. وَإِذَا أَهْلُ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ يَتَعَلَّقُونَ بِهَا And then all of the people of the east and all of the people of the west, they all paid close attention to this. So Abdul Muttalib, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the grandfather of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam, he had interpreted this dream as somebody giving birth from his offspring. يَتَّبِعُهُ أَهْلُ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ And the people of the East and the people of the West will follow that individual, will pay attention to the individual. وَيَحْمَدُهُ أَهْلُ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ And the people of both the heavens and the earth shall all praise him. يَحْمَدُهُ Now this again is Hamd means they shall praise him and it said for this reason فَلِذَلِكَ سَمَّاهُ مُحَمَّدًا It is for this reason that Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Prophet wasallam, had named him Muhammad, the all praised. So how is the Prophet wasallam the most praised? As we see today and every day, we have people all around the world praying their salah. Now, salah, depending on which country you're in, occurs at different times. So this way, all over the globe, each and every moment there is somebody praying salah, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, within the salah itself, there is also the mention of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam. Be that he is reading the Qur'an and the name of the Prophet ﷺ is being mentioned or any of the attributes of the Prophet ﷺ are mentioned or if he is sitting in his salah reading at tahiyyat even there we mention the name of the beloved Prophet ﷺ. But it's not only that my dear Islam brothers and viewers. Why? Because there are many people, Alhamdulillah, we should also be amongst them who we recite the root or we try to recite the root throughout the whole day, some companions would spend the entire time, other than the obligatory acts, they would spend the entire time sending the root upon the Prophet wasallam. Similarly, there are angels who are sending the root upon the Prophet wasallam. There are birds and the creatures sending the root upon the Prophet wasallam, And even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. As it is, witnessed from the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and the malaika, the angels, they send the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. No doubt my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madini channel, this is could be a, less, a lesson for us in the importance of sending the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam. But Islam brothers, the name Muhammad, this holds a very close link to the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the actual name Allah itself. Why? 
if you are to take the a look at the name of Allah, this has four letters: one alif, another lam, the second, the third lam also, and the fourth is the letter ha. Just as the name of Allah has four letters, similarly the name of the greatest of mankind, sallallahu taala wasallam, this also has four letters. We have mim, we have ha, we have mim, and dal. So four letters on the one side, the name of Allah, and four letters for the name of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Similarly, for the name Allah, there is no dot on the name of Allah. If you think about it, there is just the alif, the lam, lam, ha, but we cannot see any dot. Just as there is no dot in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, similarly for the name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam, there is no dot. Now the name Allah, there is one letter which is known as mushaddad. It has tashdeed. When, for those people that may not know what this means or what it is, when you read reciting the Quran, you see a small W on top of the name Allah. I'm sure all of us would have seen the W on top of the name Allah. And this is for the third letter. Similarly, for the third letter of the Prophet ﷺ, the Meem is the first, a Ha, and then the Meem, there is also a W, meaning a Tashdeed or a Shad for the Prophet ﷺ. So this is how there is the similarity between the name of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam to the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Subhanallah, how great and what a blessing this is. Now this is one speciality of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam that he has been granted this name Muhammad. But there are also many other specialities of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam. And I would like to touch upon those a little amount because we're not going to spend too much episodes just on the khusasi kubra of the Prophet ﷺ. We will continue onto the life of the Prophet ﷺ. Another speciality of the greatest of mankind ﷺ is that he was sent as the mercy a rahmat lil alameen, meaning a mercy for the whole of mankind. The Prophet Sallallahu was also sent as the last and final messenger. But Islam and Buddhists and views of Muslim channel, this is one of the great characteristics of the Prophet Sallallahu The Prophet Sallallahu was sent as the last and final messenger. What does this mean? This means that it is not possible. It's not even possible. We cannot even imagine there to be another prophet after Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. No, it is not possible in the slightest for there to be another prophet. So there will never be a prophet after the prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Yes, there will be Hazrat Isa alayhi wa sallam who shall return to the earth. But Hazrat Isa alayhi wa sallam will be amongst the ummatis of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam and this is subhanallah an attribute of praiseworthy a attribute of praise for Hazrat Isa alayhi salam he himself shall be glad to be coming as and to be included as a ummati of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam and this is something that many prophets would pray for to be from the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam Another speciality of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam is that although the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam was the last and the final messenger yet he was the first to be created The Prophet of mankind the peace of our hearts and minds sallallahu ta'ala wasallam said Kuntu nabiyyan wa adamu bain al-ma'i wa al-deen and similarly wa adamu bain al-ruhi wa al-jasad that I was a prophet at that time when Hazrat Adam السلام, was between water and soil and in another hadith when he was between his soul and his body at that time the Prophet وسلم, was a Nabi, a prophet he was not only the first Nabi but he was actually the first to be created meaning the Noor of the Prophet وسلم, was the first creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
it is mentioned that one of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ by the name of Hazrat Jabir anhu, who was a great companion of the Prophet ﷺ, and he says to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he says, "Ya Rasulullah sallallahu taala sallam, which thing did Allah subhanahu wa taala create first? The Prophet sallallahu taala sallam replied, "Ya Jabir." إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى قَدْ خَلَقَ قَبْلَ الْأَشْيَاءِ نُورَ نَبِيَّكَ مِن نُورِهِ The O Jabir, the first thing which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created was the nur of your Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. So another speciality of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, yes, he's man, meaning he's bashar. At the same time, the Prophet ﷺ is Nur also, meaning he is also light. And this we come to understand from the Holy Quran itself. It is mentioned in the Holy Quran, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورٌ وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ That has come, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to you, or has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Nur and a clear book, meaning the Prophet sallallahu wasallam and the Holy Quran. One of the specialities of the Prophet sallallahu wasallam is that his ummah shall be the greatest in terms of number. No doubt it is the greatest, but also in terms of number, his ummah will be the greatest also. It will be the largest in number. My listeners and brothers and viewers of Madrid channel, Unfortunately, our time is now coming to an end. Let's not forget that the Prophet ﷺ is the greatest of mankind and it is extremely important to listen to and to also study the biography of the Prophet ﷺ in order for us to learn from the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ. This is the ending to one episode Inshallah Azzajal, we shall continue and even continue with the special characteristics of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But more of this another day. For now, my dear Islamic brothers, let's continue to send the root upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Mawlaya salli wa sallim da'iman abadan Mawlaya salli wa sallim da'iman abadan Wa ala habibika khayri al-khulqi kulli